Hi everyone, it's Andrew Murchie here from Enhanced Dimensions. Um, sitting in the uh, a little flight tower up here. And uh, as usual, you might hear the airplanes going by as we sit and talk. Bit different. This uh, it's really nice. We're we're in nice sunny weather, barbecue weather in Scotland. I know it's almost unheard of, but there you go. Um, anyway. Uh, welcome to this first in a series of tutorials that's going to go through um, converting 2D footage to 3D footage using uh, various techniques in After Effects and um, bits and bobs and I'm, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll have fun as we go along and hopefully you won't end up looking like this man. Um, although sometimes when you talk about 3D people tend to kind of pull that face. Um, I guess there's, uh, it really depends, you know. Um, some people pull this face and they go, hmm, 3D, interesting. And then you get the other ones that go, ugh, 3D, I have to wear glasses. Well, you know, you have to have a screen and you have to have speakers and all these other inconveniences. Um, and then you have other ones. Oh, that's me. Ha <laughs> ha, 3D, yes, yes, yes. Um, and uh, finally you get the ones, oh, 3D, I saw that in 1950. Um, no, oh, who's this last guy? <gasps> oh, he's shocked. Sorry, that's actually when the... When the uh, piranha jumps out the screen at me, he goes, "Wow! Oh, we got an awful fright." Anyway, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm getting carried away. Let, let's get back to, <laughs> to the tutorial. I shouldn't have done any of that, I don't think, but uh, I'll, let's just keep it there. And um, so we're going to do four separate scenes. Now, the four scenes all come from some uh, found footage online, as uh, from a public domain archive, although um, I. Can't be 100% certain about the legality of this, so uh, I'm not going to redistribute it. But if you'd like to go along to um, the Internet Archive and track down this film, Pedestrian Crossing, you can um, create your own version of this, or I'm sure you can just use some other footage and uh, you can copy the, the techniques. So, the four different um, scenes we're going to do the first scene we're going to do. Um, and you might want to put your 3D glasses on if you've got a pair handy. First one we're going to do, which is really the simplest, is just going to be um, the uh, titles. Really just the titles coming out of the screen. That's going to be a very, very simple one for you. I've actually done a little bit more messing around than, than in some of the demo footage that I've been playing around for the last uh, few weeks. Um, and then the second scene, we're going to have uh, the chappy bring his newspaper down and him in the background and there's a scene behind him there and then we're going to do the next scene which is uh, Mr. Mooney happy shocked face and then finally we're going to do the scene where he walks out over the road and I don't know why he doesn't seem to see that car I think most people would have seen it anyway he walks out in front of the car and uh, gets knocked over but never fear look here he is he's fine he's well everything's okay um, right so um, what we're going to do in this uh, first tutorial, we, we might jump around and do them in, in a different order. What we're going to do in this first tutorial is really the very, very simple pedestrian crossing uh, title. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and I'm going to start a new project. Um, and we'll just import the actual scene that we want. Now for some very strange reason, I've actually numbered them scene zero. Um, through to scene three instead of starting at one to four. I, I don't know why I did it. It's confusing as hell, but what can I do? I've done it now, so really very little else I can do. Um, yeah, so this piece is going to be very, very simple. Here we go. So we've got the first scene, which in two dimensions looks something like that, which is just the text fading up and fades away. Nice, straightforward. I've just created a, uh, a MOV file from the uh, MPEG that I downloaded. So we're going to drop that in there and create a um, new new composition. And in this particular instance, I'm actually just going to drop two of them into the same composition. I'm not going to worry about sound at the moment. So all we have is the two over each other. And as you have hopefully done before, um, if you've done some of the the early tutorials is we're going to set the um, channels on this so we're going to set channels I've got both of them selected um, the top one we're only going to retain the red as we've done so many times before and the bottom one we're going to switch off the red if you've not seen this stuff previously 
I suggest you go and watch some of the uh, other tutorials. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch the mode to add. So as you see, we're right back where we started there. Uh, just two files on top of each other. Now, at the moment, that's doing absolutely nothing for you, but I, I mean, I can't really go on to express how simple this is. I'm just going to pop my 3D glasses on. Yeah, that's pretty two-dimensional at the moment. Um, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to simply move the um, the top one, uh, or the red channel, over to the right. Uh, I don't know, three, four, four or five pixels. And there you go. I mean, effectively, if you're sitting watching that with your 3D glasses on, you'll see that that is, in fact, out of the screen. Nice, straightforward, simple stuff. Um, you might want to do something a little bit fancier. So let's say what you want to happen is you want to happen, let's say you want at one second roughly, you want it to be completely in the screen. And by four seconds, you want it to be out of the screen. So in fact, I'll tell you what, let's move this to two seconds roughly because then we can actually see it. So two seconds you want it to be inside the screen. So what we'll do is we'll move that to the left and again if you've got your 3D glasses on you'll see now that, that pedestrian crossing has actually gone into the screen and then over time you can watch it comes raises itself out of the screen. We might want to do something a little bit different so what we'll do is let's take uh, let's create a mask and let's say we want one piece of text to be higher up than the other. So what we'll do is I've created a mask and I've cut that side of the bottom half. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer. And with the uh, mask, I'm going to... Working on an unusually small screen for me. Um, I'm going to change that to subtract. So now we've got pedestrian and crossing actually working independently of each other. So what we can do is, if we want a pedestrian to come further out of the screen, we'll move that slightly more to the right. And let's take a crossing, which is the bottom one. We'll maybe move that back a couple of pixels. And there we go. What we have is, over time, we've got them coming from inside the screen, coming out, and pedestrian actually sitting higher above the screen than they were crossing. That's the first part of our um, of our 2D to 3D tutorials. Um, that one was the very easiest one. Um, but hopefully that will inspire you to, to keep going and to start getting into some of the more uh, complex areas um, where we can have some real fun. But for the time being, uh, this is Andrew Murchie for Enhanced Dimensions. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, if you have some time, why not pop over to the Enhanced Dimensions site where you can get a whole range of uh, freebies uh, and all sorts of 3D goodies. So thanks again, and I'll see you again soon.